<laughs> peace cannot last. Peace lasts for just a few <coughs> moments. It cannot else but die a ceasefire easily broken. Always there will be warriors who do not want peace, vicious birds of prey who live to kill. A military industrial complex Jackals, hyenas, vultures that thrive on war, feeding off a broken peace. Xenophobic, paranoiac chicken littles who fear attack from phantom foes. Warhawks, screaming chants of war, attack them now, shoot first. Self-righteous true believers whose god or gods demand obeisance. Conversion or death at the point of a sword. And those whose memories are long, resentful, bitter, with an axe to grind, who would take vengeance, a cycle without end. These truths play out on every side, casting aside the extended olive branch overwhelming overtures of reconciliation, ensnaring the dove of peace and tossing her carcass to the dogs of war. And the media. A hungry beast that salivates when it smells blood and is quick to annotate each action that endangers a brokered peace. The media is quick to give the battle cry for war, but you will not find the media bearing witness to testimony given in empty halls by those who bore the brunt of war, the private grunts who fought and then came home, and the casualties collectively referenced as collateral damage. They have a vision on the ground, not once or twice or thrice removed. Once pawns in games that from a distance others played. Subservient and obedient no more, now they speak out against the war machine. But words voiced without an audience, only hollow echoes. The media is not there. No one listens. Peace cannot last. Now, to change the mood, two things that I wrote just yesterday, shorter, much shorter. Close encounters of the least intimate kind. The flames once burned hot that left behind these charred, damaged goods. Here in this singles bar, knowing too well those paths that lead to more bad outcomes, the clientele speak in parallel and euphemism, well versed in indirection, their glide paths spiraling inward, outward, round each other's hearts as their armies Advance and then retreat. No quarter asked, no quarter given. Each seeking what they would not give the other. No love gained, but more importantly, no love lost. Thirty seconds. Finally, thirty seconds. My love's a mockingbird in love with life, and life's a song, a song she sings the whole day through. And if she likes your song, why, she will sing it too. And chances are that when you sing your song, every note and nuance that she hears, she'll echo in your ear. And soon, my love, my mockingbird, will sing, my, her, sing your song more prettily than you. And your best memory of your own song will be her singing it to you. Uh -huh. Thank you.